I want to talk about standard user account and the difference between a standard user and an administrator user. This is a key issue in Windows Vista and higher, and you need to understand these concepts in order to develop installations. Prior to Windows Vista, there were scenarios that were important to a standard user that couldn't be completed as a standard user. So to do things like change the local time zone, you had to have administrator privileges. As a result, almost everyone used a logon account that was a member of the administrator's group. A secondary effect being that most software developers developed their software assuming the user would be an administrator. This basically gave them full run of the system with the ability to override any local security checks. To achieve their goals for Windows Vista and above, Microsoft not only had to make standard user work well for an end user who just wanted to get their work done, but also to protect someone who really needed to be an administrator from accidentally doing something bad. User account control was created so that when a standard user tries to do something that requires the administrator privilege, the system prompts the user to have an administrator authorize the task by entering their credentials. A standard user account lets a person use most of the capabilities of the computer but permission from an administrator is required if you want to make changes that affect other users or the security of the computer. An administrator account is a user account that lets you make changes that will affect other users. Administrators can change security settings, install software and hardware, and access all files on the computer. Administrators can also make changes to other user accounts. In Vista and above, you will find that once you get beyond the setup phase on most systems, you can work just fine as a standard user. At least that's Microsoft's position on the subject, however. The reality is that some companies may be reluctant to develop for a standard user. I can tell you that in my consulting career, that the majority of the companies are not developing for standard user accounts. Most are still putting it off. I cannot say how the rest of the world is responding, but that has been my experience. Everyone agrees that if most applications could run in a standard user account, everything would be more secure. On some of the different Windows websites, you learn that feedback received shows that some companies are fearful that standard user applications are harder to implement and maintain, thus for some are reluctance to actually do it. There will always be certain types of applications that require administrator privileges in order to run, and this is understood by everyone, including Microsoft. The point is that if a program does not need administrative privileges all the time, then there is no need for it to run continuously under an administrative access token. I cannot make the decision for you. I can just show you what I have learned about standard user applications and installations and let you make up your own mind.